que sí. Hola, Mauricio. Sorry. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? Great. How are you? I'm fine. I forgot. I, 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 I yesterday I couldn't came to the class because uh, I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> you are my so wife, tired. Yeah, my wife remember that. Hey, your classes? Your English class is, mm, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it was at exactly at eight o'clock and I, I, I was in the supermarket, you know. Uh, you need uh -huh. to connect with the phone. <laughs> oh, no, I couldn't do it. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Maybe because the, uh, I forgot the password. And uh. that's the reason I try, I try to do that. But, uh, I don't know why I, I couldn't. In this moment, I memorize the password. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. 748 Yeah, no, I memorized that. But the, the, no was the memorize, the contraseña, la contraseña. Eh? Uh, the password. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, no, the, this is the password. The, the first, the name of the user. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ocho... Yeah. Ocho, uno, uno, I don't, and that's why I don't have in, it. In my case, my memory is not good for this kind of uh, <laughs> long number. No, no. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello, Evening. teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? How are you? I'm doing great. Well, I'm just listening that you have already memorized the ID, the password, and everything. Are you serious? <laughs> no, the the okay. password, yes, I memorized the password, but the ID, what? no, it's okay. uh, that's the reason I couldn't uh, connect yesterday with the class. Because, oh, okay, okay, well, uh, but no I worries, no worries, that is totally fine. But you know, what I normally do in my computer is I, I just open up a Zoom, so I enter my email and it is open. Uh -huh. So by the time of the class, I only have to click and that's it. Um, doesn't it work for you that way? What? No, in the computer is okay, but in this case, Mauricio told us that is in your phone. Uh, yeah, to in, the, in the phone, in phone. I, do the, I do the same. <laughs> I mean, that no, can okay. also work. Uh -huh. So you can access with your email, right? Uh, the one that is registered and the... Uh, Oh, no, I think you don't. Well, I'm not sure if that works for you as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I, normally, I think, it, I think maybe not. I, no, in, in our phone, no, because I tried to connect in another meeting, a sequence of meeting, mm -hmm. but I can't. Yeah, now that I that I think about it, probably not. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. but, but, but it's just so fine. It is super nice to see you either way. Uh, Asusana, how you oh, nice doing? You. It was, we have a homework? No. Um, no, not for today. No. Yes, that's oh, okay. Hi, teacher. Right. Good yes, evening. you're doing. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Claudia. Well, she doesn't have a um, I'm just fine. Yet. Are you having a good one? Are you having a good day? Um, I have a, a little stress day. <laughs> Why? Why are you stressed out? Too much work? Uh, uh, no, yeah, in my house and and also um, I I did I I helped to my son uh, to do his homework assignment and okay. some and some sometimes um is uh, more complicated mm -hmm. with with a kids with a kids. 
How old is your baby? He's five. Uh, he's five years old. Oh, okay. I get that. So you have to do a lot of homework. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. That's why. Yeah, because I remember with my nephews and nieces. So at the end, it was like my brother or my sister-in-law, the ones who ended up doing the homework <laughs> and not the kids. So that's why. I guess you're busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Well, guys, All in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, okay. No, oh. That's, that must be really tiring. <laughs> It will be raining right now. Is it? Okay, it was drizzling really here. It is raining. Yesterday, the, it's, uh, it was uh, uh, it was uh, like a storm, uh -huh, but very, very hard. Uh, uh, yeah, heavy rain. Uh, uh -huh, actually, heavy rain. here, um, it was raining all night long. So I was surprised. Because supposedly we are in summer, right? But but I guess the weather is like pretty crazy. And today has been really humid. So that is uh -huh. we, like- we are, we are in summer, yeah, really. Is the climate change, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's part of the, of the climate change and the greenhouse effect and everything. So, but yeah, it's super, super warm and-, and and humid so i think that that's what makes you feel kind of sticky and everything so that's bad all right uh well guys uh, thanks a lot for joining hi rafael good evening hi good evening how are you i'm better nice i was going to ask you about that actually so you're doing well now yes yes Do you normally take some pills for your headache not normally, but better. Oh, okay. Okay, that's nice. That's really good to hear. I think I saw Elvis too. Um, yeah, Adrian is the one. So Adrian, good evening. Great to see you. Sophie, hello. Great to see you. Okay, guys. Um, so thanks a lot for joining. We are going to be practicing a little bit today. Definitions, vocabulary, and... I have a little activity for you that I hope you can help me with. Um, when it comes to giving definitions, it is a little hard, but I'm sure you have studied or you have seen the videos about relative pronouns, right? So you have checked already that who, where, and all these things um, to try to give like more description, more ideas. So what I want you to do is this. Imagine, guys, that I don't speak the, the Spanish language, all right? And I just see you in the street and, uh, and uh, I'm asking you for some help because I have like some expressions that I don't understand from Salvadorian Spanish. So um, the question is, how would you explain this to a person? Can you give a definition for that? Um, I know we understand Bolado, but if I'm not from uh, Salvador, Latin America, etc., I will not get this. So how would you explain Bolado, guys? What's that for you? Can you help me with some definitions here? It's a thing. Okay. What kind of thing? <laughs> what, what, whatever the things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I explain? <laughs> ah, wait, how would you explain it? <laughs> okay, so thing, anything. Okay, any other way to explain it? When do I use the word? Volado. Yes, it's, the first. Is a, a, something that you don't know what is the name. Okay, okay, so today you don't know what it's what is the name. Okay, can I use it for people? Can I use it for objects? What can I use it for? You can use it any uh, for every everything. Okay, <laughs> I, I think volado in our case is when is with a uh, miss dot with v, sino que with v. Uh, oh, really? I, yes, because uh, uh, okay, I, I don't, I, I am, I. Look at a red about that, and is with V because there is another word that is volado, but for Mexican, so I don't know the spelling um, to okay. be honest. <laughs> so maybe okay, but okay, if I'm talking about a person, for example, 
and I call the person volado. What does it mean? How Voladito, would you explain that? Voladito. <laughs> Okay. So what is that? <laughs> it's a voladito. It's a, it's a, a, a man. A oh, man uh, in good shape. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so a man in a good shape. Oh, Any other definition? <laughs> that is an above weight. Uh -huh. That is enough? Yeah. <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> In a, uh, no, in, a both, in a both, in a both way. Oh, okay. Well, there are like a lot of, uh, actually, I heard about this uh, Mexican word volado too, that I didn't know what, what a volado for me. Volado is what you mentioned, but volado for them is like to throw a coin in the air and wish it for it to be cross um, tail, so tail or head. So I was, I was surprised, you know, but nice. Okay, guys, what about the second one? Chivo, what's chivo for you? How would you explain that? Very nice. Okay, very, very nice. nice. Another way, hey. Cool. Cool, okay, any other way? Hi, Sylvia, good evening. Francisco, welcome. Okay, so what good else? Evening. Hello, good hello. Evening. So very nice, cool, another way. That would be it. Okay. What about it, Chara? Usually you, yes. you express this word when you are talking with another people and and we and, and they try to to um make a or, or they are in agreement and they oh. say back chivo. Ah okay, <laughs> that's a very nice way to explain that as well. So it's like a, a word to express agreement. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. Nice, nice. I like it. All right. What about the next one, guys? Charambusca. What's that? <laughs> it's a bath with ice and flavor. Okay. Do you eat it? <laughs> Do you, you drink it? Uh, uh -huh. Yes. This use a uh, charambusca for informal game. Ah. Everybody. Uh, ah, okay. For example, and the child, um, the playing uh, of the soccer. Give me the chara musca. Oh. In my town, it's Topoyo. Where do you live, Silvia? What's your town? It's, San Lorenzo. It's, 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 it's another word. It's, uh, oh. it's similar to the ice. Uh -huh. So we have this too, but but you're right. So Charamusca is like an informal game as well, like soccer, right? Soccer game, an informal yes. soccer game. Uh -huh. So you think we have a, like a lot of definitions there. Um, Silvia, I, so you don't use the word Charamusca, but you use ch Topoillo? Yeah, miss, it's Topoillo in my town. Oh. Okay. In Aguachapan. Topoillo. What's your city, Sophie? Aguachapan. Okay, so you don't call them charamuscas? No. Oh, okay, okay, very interesting. Uh, I think there are a couple of words that we use in a different way, but I didn't know that people truly use um, the pollillo to refer to them. Okay, cool. Now, guys, let's go with the next one. Puerta del Diablo. I mean, we are talking about the place, right? <laughs> we are not talking about something related to hell or anything. So um, how would you explain uh, what this place, La Puerta del Diablo, is? Uh, the tourist center. OK. Uh, can you give me more information? Can you give me more details? It's a place in Los Planes de Renderos. Okay. Give me more. <laughs> okay, that's Please nice. See. That's super cool. Give me more. Give me more information. And the typical Salvadorian food. Okay. There, there is a rabbit. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually there is. I haven't oh, gone to La Puerta del Diablo in a long time. Yes, Mauricio? It is more <laughs> It is more easy. You have to when you have to say at the at the tourist at the tourist guy, hey, put waste, put waste, <laughs> and that's 
that go to the directly to the Puerta del Diablo. Oh, yes, of course. But normally you ask, what's that? Imagine the first time you listen to the word Puerta del Diablo. So you start thinking, oh my God, what's that? So, Where is that? Ah, Hill no, Gates? Uh -huh. Devil it's Door. A... Devil Door. What? <laughs> Yeah, so you start thinking about it. But yeah, that, that's a very nice description. So it is a tourist center where you can find some typical food. What else can you find? And you can hike in, in this can, place. Can you? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, my, well, me no, but my daughter, yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, I went there like six years ago. So now I don't know if you can still go up or uh, go up the, I don't know, there was like a big rock, right? Like two or three yes. big rocks. Uh -huh. And okay. there is very hot and next to Planet de Rendero. And um, I think it's very uh, crowded. Oh, okay. On, on okay. weekends. I don't like this. I don't like this place because it's very crowded. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess so. And also because it's super close, right? So I imagine it must be kind of uh, crowded. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry about the next word. To be honest, I don't know how to write it down because the word doesn't exist. <laughs> but well, yes, it does it exist? Yes, a few okay. seconds ago. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh -huh. because I don't know if in Spanish or the Real Academia Española accepts the word. I think they don't, but we use it, right? So we normally use this. So how would you explain the enjoy? What's this? A few minutes before. Okay, so a few, a few minutes, minutes ago. Before, so minutes a ago. A few seconds okay. ago. A few seconds ago. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, and what about the next one? Uh, do you use this <laughs> word, guy? Yes. 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 yes, it's very hard. It's too hard. hard. Uh, it's too hard to do. Too difficult. Okay, it's so it's hard. To break it's stuff. complicated. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and what about the last one? Arrecho, those are the ones that I could remember. <laughs> I don't know that word. It's a, oh. it's a person. It's uh -huh. a, it's a holy no, word. No, it's, it's a, person a person who who has a lot of uh, abilities for do the for does anything. Really? A person. It's, yes. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, I just think we <laughs> learned something today. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Hi, Irvin. Good evening. Uh, is, a, is a person that can do everything. Mm, okay. Or maybe we can use a recho for brave, right? Like courageous. A person who is brave when they do some activities. Okay. Very nice. Any other Salvadorian word, guys, that you think we only we Salvadorian use? Any other slang? We have Puchica. Puchica. <laughs> we have a lot. Okay. Puchica. Hay tese. Hay tese. Hay tese. Hay tese. Ahí es tese. Ahí es Okay. You know, the expression that I use is ba. <laughs> so instead of saying verdad, instead of, you know, use the ba. word, I use ba. I don't know why, but I, uh, I have tried to. Stop it. I don't use that. Mom. <laughs> okay, what expressions do you use, guys? What is slang do you use? In my case, a la puchica. Oh, okay. So puchica. All right. Like damn. Okay. Teacher. Well, lacha is a is a Oh, that's right. Word. How would you explain that? How would you explain uh like well, puchica uh -huh. or or fue? It's a word. <laughs> fue. Okay. It's, it's, it's an expression to, it's a, a light to say a expression that is um, to may often, often there, may often people. Some, okay. excuse me, some of, of, some of, a bit, some of, 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 I don't use Huelacha, I use Puchica, yeah, but I use it more like, like in a surprise uh, or surprise expression. So normally in English, we can use the word crap, for example, right? Not necessarily you have to say a bad word, 
So you can say crab, right? Um, also, <clears throat> people use this expression, damn. So crab, damn. So I know that there are really bad words, <laughs> but these are the not offensive words that we can use instead of those. Um, bayunco, yeah, that's right. I haven't heard that word in a long time. So what is a bayunco, guys? So who is bayunco? It's a funny person for me. A funny person? Yeah. Oh, interesting. The idea I have is different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How would you explain Bayunko? A dog person? A, do a dog person? Yuck. Yuck. Oh, okay. Like a silly person. Or like a clown? Okay, a person that like behaves a like, uh, like a clown. Don't bizarre? Maybe bizarre? A bizarre person? Bizarre? Okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay. I... Maybe a, a person who has uh, jokes without sense. Mm, okay. And so they are not funny. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. Normally, I use the word bayunco to refer to people who are very awkward, right? Uh, they try to make jokes, but as, as Usena say, the jokes are not that funny. Okay. Uh, but Sylvia has another point there that a funny person. So nice. So we came with a lot of different words. Amazing, guys. Now let's just review this super quick. Normally, uh, you did it perfectly, guys. So when we are describing or giving definitions of something that we don't know, Normally we use these relative uh, pronouns like who, but for people, it is very common that we use who or that, and that is okay. For objects, we use that and which, but we are going to check the part of which because it's very specific. And we can also use where if we are referring to places, right? Like what you did when you were talking about like La Puerta del Diablo. So I have this exercise that I'm sure that you will complete like super fast. It says, um, Peru is a beautiful country. Um, you should, um, one second, hold on, wait a second. Okay, you should visit in the future. So what do you think is the, the word that we can use in this space? That. Where? Okay. You should visit in the future. That. Okay, so Peru is a beautiful country that you should visit in the future. Okay, um, yes, why not where? Peru is a beautiful country where you should. Actually, if you listen to this, the meaning changes a little bit. And normally the expression where needs to be close to the word you are talking about. Like this is the place where, this is the country where, but in this case, it sounds a little better that. Sometimes uh, when we are, th that is the general word. So you can use it anytime. Um, and this is why sometimes it's just what sounds better. Take a look at the next one. Red and white are the colors. Which? Which? Okay. Which? Oh, sounds super nice. I can use actually both. So I could use that or which, and that is you know, just perfect. What about the third one? The Machu Picchu is an Inca site. Where? Where? Uh, can you that read are it? represented in the, I uh, know that which is situated. Oh, the next one, Machu Picchu. Number three is an Inca mm -hmm. site. For which, uh, which is situated near Cusco. So which is situated near Cusco can be a possibility. And we also have the second possibility, Machu Picchu is an Incan site that is situated. So that is normally situated. where and that, so that is okay. That is used in, um, in like any situation, but if you want to be super, super specific, so we can just wear who and the rest Teacher, on which. I yes. have a question, but we uh, use uh, relative clauses, no? Yes. Who, which, and that. 
Yes. This is the, ah, okay. How, where? We can use where as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it, it was not in the platform, but we can use it as well. Um, later, you will come to a study uh, defining, not defining in some grammar terms, but yes, yes we can use it as well. Um, what about the next one, guys? What about the fourth, uh, Lima? This is very specific. Where? Where is the capital? What is the capital? Mm, but we are talking not about the like a place here. We are talking just about the name. Which? So, mm -hmm. Where Which is that refers to mm -hmm. the physical or geographical uh, thing. But in this case, we are just giving an example. So. Um, Lima, which is the capital, or Lima, that is the capital. So why not where? Because where refers to the physical uh, place, right? When you are giving reference to that place. If I tell you, for example, Lima, where you went last uh, vacation. So we are giving reference to that specific place. But here is more general. This is why where doesn't really uh, fit in here. So Lima, uh, which is the capital, was founded. There we go with the rest. What about the last one? People usually wear colorful clothes. Who they very often make at home. So what, what is the what is the, the last one? The, not the last one. The, the in Lima, what is the correct word that we have to use? Both which and that are okay. I don't accept that word. That they very often make at home. Mm -hmm. What which? about this one, guys? People usually oh, wear colorful, wear colorful that which they day? very feel. That. Voy a poner el, el, that. Mm, okay. Um, normally, when you use who, you will have to have it next to the word. I like people who. Uh, this is the person who. This is my friend who. So but normally you are when you use to the, the people who wear colorful clothes. Yes, but if I want to use who, I need to place it here after oh. people because this is like the person. This is the reference. But here we have next to clothes. People that. usually wear oh. colorful clothes and we are talking about clothes. So that okay. mm -hmm, are very often, uh, that they very like often make at home. So pretty much this is not like very complicated, let's say. Um, and we are going to just uh, practice a little bit here. But teacher, uh, what more uh, we can use in the last one? Uh, the last one can you can use that. Okay. I would say just that, which um, you can use which. However, it doesn't sound like like a full idea. It sounds something is still lacking. So I would say just that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, now let's talk a little bit about the use of these words. Um, normally, relative clauses, they get together or they are together with the word they modify. So if I tell you, for example, so this is the person. So immediately after person, I'm going to have who. Still, in an informal way, you can say that, and that is okay. So, because remember that for the speaking purposes, if a person understands what you are saying, you are good. For grammatical purposes, it is more formal who, but in a spoken English, if a person understands you, then you are okay. Then you are totally fine. So, let's take a look at this. This is the person who. This is the president who. Can you give me more ideas? This is the singer who. So as long as it is a person, we are going to use who and they are together, right? So they definitely go together. What happens with objects? When we are describing objects, we said uh, this word in Spanish that is polado, that is a word that you can use for every single uh, thing that you don't remember the name. Now, in English, there is also a very similar word that we can use. 
So this is, uh, you can say this is the thing, right? Um, so the word thing, thingy or stuff, normally we use it for that. So this is the thing. And because we are talking about um, something that we don't know how to say in English, we are going to use this in order to try to give a definition. For example, I don't know how to say acha, okay, in English. Um, so, because I don't know how to say it and I cannot speak Spanish, I'm gonna try to give you a definition of this word. How would you explain acha in English? Imagine you don't know how to say acha. Guys, do you know how to say acha first? <laughs> no, okay. So imagine that you need to use this word but we don't know the name. So how can we explain that over? So we can- If I say, this is the thing which I cut my trees. This is the thing which, that sounds good. That sounds all right. Okay. Uh, yes, we need like a full sentence after. So this is the thing which I use to cut the trees, mm -hmm. or this is the uh, thing that I used to cut the trees. So that would be okay. Those are fine. Remember, spoken English is easier because if you use which for every situation, no, no problem, as long as a person understands you. So that is okay. So which or that, that would be okay. Um, imagine, for example, I don't know guys, how to say, a machete, <laughs> because that is not a machete, is machete in English. So how would you mm -hmm. explain that? This is the thing that you use to cut uh, uh, the co co cocos. Ah, okay. <laughs> so this is the, uh, I don't I'm know, the sure, steel but... <laughs> thing uh -huh, so that you use uh, to cut or to open up some coconuts, etc. <laughs> I would say that. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. Okay. So, Teacher, we, yes. Uh, machete is a, a tool that you can. Oh, a tool. As, as a knife, but um, must be, be bigger. Bigger a than bigger. a knife. That you okay. can use to, to cook the firewood. Oh, I like it. Okay. So, this is the tool. So, you use another word. Okay. Very nice. So any other word that we can use here? Remember, we are trying to give some definitions. So the thing, the object, the tool, something more general. Or you can use the word stuff uh, that is super common and super general, even more general than thing. I, so, I am not sure, but we can use instrument? No. Yes, of course. Imagine you're talking about something related to medicine, for example. So that would be that would be something related to instruments or tools that is more common, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, are we ready to practice? Yes. Amazing. Yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> so I let's... have a question. Yes, sorry. Yes. Uh, what's the meaning of stuff? A stuff is like when you say cosa in Spanish. Ah, so okay. you can say, for example, in English, can you pass me that stuff? Or can you ah. pass me that thing? So a stuff and okay. thing are synonyms. Mm -hmm. Another way to, to say thing. It's more general stuff. Yes. Ah, like um, you can say, for example, oh, I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, I'm doing um, some stuff right now. So that is, I'm doing a lot of things, a lot of activities. Mm -hmm. Stuff is you. always singular, okay? Okay, guys, so let's do this. It says, make a list of 10 objects, people, and or places, okay? So guys, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes um, on a notebook, you know, on uh, a piece of paper on the computer, wherever you are. I just want you to make a list. It can be, Objects, uh, even just one object uh, that you normally use at home, something that you have in front of you will work. People, we can use an occupation, a famous person, a classmate, right? So that would be nice so we can practice this. And we can also include some places right here. Um, for example, imagine that I tell you, uh, talking about objects, so, 
um, imagine I tell you this is something uh, that you use for removing your nails when they are long um, or when you have broken part of your nails. What's that? I I am a lim, lima, lim. Mm, but, but it's for, for cutting, so for cutting down in pieces. Nail like cutter. <laughs> okay, like a clipper. <laughs> yes, exactly. That would be the one. Or if I tell you, for example, this is the place um, that, or where, let me see. Okay, this is this is the place where all the cars that have been um, taken by the police uh, are stored. So if you committed like a felony, a crime or something, so and your car is um, like held, it is taken to this place in El Salvador. <laughs> It's, it's like a police a parking place. car. <laughs> okay, but, but the name in El Salvador? is something like a confiscated. Confiscated. Yeah, confiscated. yeah okay. But what would be the, the place? Changayo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So sometimes I don't really know uh, what what is the best word to use, right? I don't know how to say something. So this is what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to give a definition, uh, like make, make it work, right? So guys, are you ready? Only 10, objects, people, places, right? Any of them. I'm gonna give you two more minutes. Let me know when you are ready, please. Te voy a hacer cantando, baby. Ojalá que les vaya bonito. Por eso que les vaya bien. Thank you for the song. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, teacher. No, that's okay. Sophie is going to sing, right? Oh my God, sorry, I like to Sophie. Sing very much. I like to sing very much in my job. I, I all time I'm I'm singing. Oh, nice, but that is good. That helps a lot with what is it? Serotonin. Microphone was open. <laughs> No problem, that's okay. Enrique, I like to sing too. <laughs> really? Yes, really? I, I sing okay. every time. <laughs> we can do, we can sing it together in a do. What do, you say, do? <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Very, very good. You know, I'm the kind of person who cannot memorize uh, songs. So I have never been able to memorize a complete song in Spanish or English. So normally I combine pieces of one song with the other. <laughs> uh, so I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm not good for singing. Okay. Are we ready people? I am ready teacher. Yes, very nice. What about the rest? Are you ready, guys? Ready. No. Not yet? No, not yet. Okay. I don't. 10 objects, people, please. I don't understand, but using who? No, who no, no. Have, or, or... Uh, no, you are just going to make a list. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, no. Yes, yeah, you don't have ah, to write okay. the definition because you will create the definition, but just in the spoken English. So only the list, uh -huh. just make the list. I'll give you one more minute.
How many do you have, guys? Like six, seven? Ten. 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 Eleven. Okay. Oh, you got more. Okay, nice. Okay, I think we can get it started. If you haven't like completed your 10 item list, so that is okay. We can start in on the way you can think about the rest of them. Guys, we are moving to groups uh, so we can practice. You have to, now in the groups, you have to give the definition to your classmates. So you can use these expressions like it is an object, it is a tool, um, it is something, et cetera, to try to explain what to use it for. Or if, if it is a person, so this is the person who, this is the singer who, this is the, um, the artist who, right? And there we go. So give me one moment. I'm going to send you there. And there you go. You have the invitation now. Let's go, guys. Let's go, 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 go. So we have to adivinar or, or what? Well, no. in your case, you will practice giving definitions. But in the case of your classmates, yes. <laughs> they will try to okay. understand what it is that you're describing. Mm -hmm. They will try okay. to guess. Okay. Yes, yes. Places. I think so, I'm not sure. Uh. The, the list of the, the same uh, places and, and people uh, you cannot explain in Spanish or in English that only exists in, in Spanish? Yeah. Not, not in a specific only in Spanish, but that we, uh, um, we don't know how to explain uh, in English. For example, Puma. Aha, uh -huh. or, or words like, uh, I don't know, alicate. <laughs> yes, exactly. It can be a Spanish words or just words. Any word, cookie can be, apple can be. So the idea is just to practice uh, giving the definition, right? Mm -hmm. So if you are ready, guys, you can give us the definition and we try to guess. So beautiful, your your daughter Rivas. Thank you. <laughs> he is helping. <laughs> Good night. Hello. Hello. Aquí, nice to meet you. Aquí nice que no you. que no me ha hecho el masaje para dormir mi mamá. Ay, really? No, asustena guay ya no. Puso queja. <laughs> Aquí okay. está ayudándome. Una Yes. Enrique. I have a question. Yes. Uh, for example, is the um, the rolling pin, this is the thing that they use it to make pizza? Yes, because normally we don't know, so you can just uh, say it is something. It is the object, it is the tool, it is something. Uh -huh, but that would be okay. That's oh. a, I like it. That, that is a very nice one. And, a few people know how to use it or, or the name of the object. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. I have only three objects, teacher. Oh, oh it's okay. Let's, let's listen to it. So, guys, who starts? Adrian Weiler. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. The idea is about that uh, I... We are going to guess. So you can just tell us the, the definition, your definition. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's something like 
like uh, this is a the, this is the material that you can use to uh, protect some uh, walls or uh, wall, uh, protect some spaces in your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and you can uh, have a great views. Okay. That is a very good definition, and yes, that is the activity exactly. But uh, I am thinking what uh, what you're describing, <laughs> guys. Did you get it? <laughs> okay, I can repeat it. Yes, please. Okay, uh, this is the material or or stuff that you can use to uh, protect some spaces or uh, spaces or walls in your house and you can and you can have great views any idea <laughs> is i love uh, the definition that's super cool have uh, the rectangle forms or uh, i don't know how do you say cuadrado <laughs> Squares. Squares, squares, squares forms. Also. Oh my God. <laughs> Claudia, are, yes. are you talking about wallpaper or I don't know how to say that, but you can stick on the yes. walls just for the mm, decoration. No, 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 uh -huh. it's, no it's a decoration. It's, oh, okay. It's, so it's I some... don't have any idea of this. Um, I'm like, uh, oh my God. There are a lot of uh, um, shapes. Uh, with the um, a glass or yes it, 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 all the time is the glass material uh, um, I think I know it but I'm not sure <laughs> can, can you see yourself in them uh, bueno okay I, I can I can say the words if you prefer <laughs> Guys, do you give up? <laughs> yes. Is it a yes. mirror? No. Oh. It's a window. Oh. <laughs> you can you okay. can have a, a, little, great view. a great view. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, that was a nice definition. Okay. Okay, guys, who's next? Uh, teacher, uh, the brush is the thing you see used to paint wall. Okay, that is a very good one. You gave us the answer, though. <laughs> okay, so and, you gave and, us the brush. Uh -huh, so ah, you, okay, I'm sorry. You gave okay. it away, but it's a very good definition. So it is the thing that you use to paint the walls. Yes. Do you have another one? So you just omit the name. Do you have another one, Adrian? Um. Tenile, tenile is a thing used in the working and what for? So the nail is something that you use in working. Mm -hmm. And and one for, for example, the construction and the use in the house. Mm -hmm. It's a tool. Uh, I think you told us already, right? So I think you refer to the to the nails, like steel nails. Yes. Okay. Okay. No, what happened is that you mentioned nails at the beginning, so that's why. Okay. Okay. No worries. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, do you have more? I haven't heard Francisco, I think. Rafael, do you have others? Um, Azucena, do you have more? Do you have one for people? Enrique, are you ready with the other one? Yes, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I made to, to give you the definition. Only the definition. Yes, only the definition. Uh, it's, uh, my word is a, uh, my word is a uh, uh, food. 
Okay. What, uh, made uh, of... <laughs> it's my little son. Hello. Very curious. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, okay. uh, it's a it's a you you made up of of corn corn. Okay. Grind the corn, grind the corn. Uh, you made the food. It is it's a circle circle, and you can more more definition. It's very easy to. <laughs> To you, <laughs> you you made the the, the, the circle plane, and you put on a hot for face, and then you you turn to the other. Person. Okay, I got right. it. It's very easy. I I got it too. <laughs> that, that was a very nice one actually, and and a very nice way to explain. Uh, what a tortilla, right? What a tortilla yes, is. Yes, uh -huh. really. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, guys, we have like three more minutes, so please take your chances. I'll go and visit the other group. See you in a bit. Okay, I have another. There is a thing that uh, normally a woman use for the, uh, their nails, and they paint it with this uh lipstick i know no, it it's <laughs> that's where your lips for the the nails sophia no it's not no it's a lipstick i forgot the words <laughs> this is Are a polish nail first? yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny this ex exercise teacher really did you learn new words did you learn new vocabulary yeah, um, it's nice, but it, uh, yes. that is difficult yolanda what is that uh, a polish nail a nail polish ah, a, a nail polisher Yes, a nail for brush, the color brush. Uh, it is a brush no, no. no polish no no that is called a polish. Uh, also for your nail shoes. Nail polish, teacher. Mm -hmm. No, nail polish. Yes. Polish. Also, okay. uh, polish is like, um, it's the activity too. So, for example, when you clean your shoes and you apply like uh, color to your shoes, so that is also polish, right? So you can polish your shoes, you can polish your nails. So nail, nail. polish. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Okay, I, I guess that is a new I, word. <laughs> I have another another place. This is the place that uh, is situated in the beach, and the name and the name is a uh, a beard. A beard. Yes. Uh, I think it's a black beard. Blackbird. I just got it from a Yeah, it's something. But what is it, the color of the of the bird? Brown, brown. The, uh, no, it's not black. No, it's, it's not black. Ah, no, brown. Black, black el sope. Ah, okay. Wow. Well, yeah, well, I just thought of a the, pilote. You yeah, have the anchors. Yeah. <laughs> el sonte. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. okay. Uh, I, where is the, let me see. Um, there is a, a, a famous man who plays soccer in our country. What is the magical. name of this man? Yes, you are. Okay. The place that, where is the place where we, we put all the things, uh, all the things that we, we work we buy in the market or in the supermarket. The table. The refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The table. <laughs> yeah, you can put them on the table too. Yeah, but, uh, but... The place is in the kitchen? No. 
I would say it depends on what you buy. <laughs> yeah, it depends. So, yeah. yeah, so I thought about okay. the table as well, <laughs> or the chair. <laughs> I normally put them in a chair. <laughs> or the sofa. Where is it? Yeah. Okay. The other and the... thing is, uh, but what do you use to move? What do you use to move the one place to another? A car. Yeah. And another... uh, my legs. And the bus. bus. And the bus. An airplane. But you can walk to or a bicycle or walk. A bicycle, uh, a motorbike. Yeah, well, right now a bicycle <laughs> because uh there the government took the all the buses from <laughs> what is the uh, what is uh, the uh, name of this, of this guy? Uh, uh, Catalino <laughs> Catalino. <laughs> Catalino Miranda. Yeah. Catalino Miranda. <laughs> the 42 and the 152. Uh -huh, yeah. Yes. I have another person who is famous yeah. and he he was a so, a, a soccer no he played a soccer and uh, I think uh, the name is a very clear a very I don't know white person what is the 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 nickname for him yeah. <laughs> Is it from ah, El Salvador? Okay, okay. Yeah yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say El Chele Rodriguez, but it's El Sarco Rodriguez. <laughs> so I'm just confusing. Oh, very Chilo, clear yeah. eyes. Oh, so that, was a, that, that was another, it's a similar to, to, to that. He played soccer. He played soccer and uh, there was a very curly hair. What is the name? From Argentina. No, from here. And go from to the go, uh -huh, and go to the Mundial. And went to the Mundial. Yeah. But I he is in very the hair is very curly and and I I don't know how the what is the name of that. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I was thinking about it, the, the it, one guy that was it, called Palermo, I guess. No, right? No, oh, it was, yeah. it, it was Portero. Fue, fue Portero. Oh, Curly, was a, Curly Boy. Curly, uh, yeah. Uh, a long curly, curly hair. Oh. No, I don't know. Para Mora. Mora, uh -huh. ah, oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Si Silvia had some help. <laughs> <laughs> I receive help here because my husband knows. Ah, okay. Oh, really? Okay. So he's a Hola. friend. Hola. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I just remember from, I don't know. I, I don't know much about Salvadorian uh, soccer, I guess. And the, so, the yes. other, is the other, I told about the other is Salvadorian, go to the Mundial, and the name is, uh, nickname is the like a bird. Uh, I told him. I told him. No, a, el pajarito uh, hueso. Uh, yeah. El pajarito hueso. Hey, uh, there is a place that is is next to the El Chulón. And it's a cultural uh, place. Ah, eh, eh, es, es ajá. El Chulón. Marte. El Museo de Marte. En <laughs> Marín. No, but the place is the theater. President Theater, no? Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Museo de Marte. Hey, no. Well, but but the no, the, yes, the Marte Museum is uh -huh. next to the uh, President Theater. President Hotel. Uh -huh. No, President the theater. Theater. Uh -huh. Ah, the theater. Okay. Theater. The theater. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, yes, what about the rest of you? <laughs> Sophie, I haven't heard you. Sigma, I haven't for the heard next, you. But I for the next, <laughs> for example, uh, what is the next? What is the next uh, song he that he will come to the El Salvador? Singer, the, huh? Singer. But yeah, singer. Torres. Singer. singer. No, it's a female, right? Uh, no, I think it's been uh, the Venez Venezuel Venezuelan or Venezuelan. 
Uh, ah. No, it's a... Uh, I don't understand the question. No, it's a... Who is the, the next name? person? What is the name? What is the name? Like, who the, is the name the singer, singer, you said? Hey, what is the name? This The singer's name that he will came soon. He will come mm. soon to the El Salvador. There are a couple. I just know Basilos is coming. Martin, mm. Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. I don't know. Yes, I and, and Bad Bunny. Not <laughs> No, that's my no. It was then. But Bunny, um, Daddy Jack, Bunny, uh -huh. Bunny. So they are Boss coming. Bunny. Uh huh. Bunny, no. Bunny, Bunny. 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 Sofia, do you know Bad Bunny? <laughs> yes, I I heard Bad Bunny. I like the music. I, yes, this is the singer. No? I no, don't like you Bad know, Bunny. Danny Ocean. Danny Ocean. Ah, oh, Danny Ocean. Danny Ocean. <laughs> oh, Danny Ocean. <laughs> Danny Ocean. All right. Ocean. I have no and idea who he is. <laughs> How do you teach, teacher? What, what do you say? Nada que ver con eso. It was not related. <laughs> Uh -huh. It was not related at all. It was uh -huh. not related. You are losing. You are losing. You are Guys, lose. I'm sorry to stop you. Time is over. Time flew. No. no. Yes. Yeah, let's go back. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I think that time definitely flies sometimes. So, but what the, the other people, teacher? We are they are coming. No, no, oh, no. They okay. are coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess they are still practicing. So they uh, will be here in thirty seconds. Uh -huh. They are still in the groups. So. Um, Vero, I haven't heard you. I don't know if Vero is working. Maybe. Probably. Vero. Vero, Vero. Her phone, her mic was on, but I'm not sure. All right. So thank you guys for coming back. So how was your practice? Did you practice a little bit? So did you come to use definitions a little bit? In my group, we, we practice a lot. Okay, yes. okay. Nice, nice. And uh, I was also like in Sylvia's group and they were having fun, you know? <laughs> so that is nice, that is super cool too. To hear and uh, and I heard like very nice structures, very good definitions. That is important when we don't know how to say something, so we can use this to try to define it or to try to say it in a different way. Unfortunately, guys, our time is over, so we will be continuing tomorrow. All right. Thanks everybody for being here. Thank you for your time. We are missing only three classes. So tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and we finish. So please don't miss, guys, these three classes. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.